What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we're doing something a little different. We're doing some urban foraging in the city of San Francisco. So you can see the Golden Gate Bridge behind me here. We're going to be driving from different locations of San Francisco and walking around and we're going to try to find edible plants in the city. Hopefully you can find at least five different edible plants. Plant number one, let's start with a non-edible plant, a poisonous plant that is very common in our area and that is the poison hemlock. It's right here. Looks exactly like carrot top. It's in the same family, but this one is called poison hemlock. And this, this can kill you if you eat this. So know your poisonous plants before you eat any of them, I suppose. When it's an older plant, a very distinct feature that these poison hemlock have is they'll have red spots up and down this, uh, the stipe or the, uh, the stem of the plant. And they say that is that will be the blood stains of its victims. So remember that if you see the blood stains, you can't see it on this guy because it's too young. Maybe we'll try to find a bigger one. Do not mistake this as carrot top. Do not try to eat that because that will kill you. All right, well, let's move on to some more edible plants. All right, let's go down here and see if we can find anything. All right. Well, this is a little nicer part of the city, uh, but here we have a whole hillside of wood sorrel, also known as sour grass or sour clover or oxalis. Uh, there's a lot of names for these, but you see all of these right here. Uh, they have sort of a clover look to them, little heart-shaped leaves, three leaves on them. And these yellow flowers start popping up in the springtime this time of year and you'll see it all over the place and now all every yellow flower that you see here in this hillside is attached to these here this is an edible plant and they have a very lemony taste so it's very good for garnishes uh, yeah it's pretty tasty actually and these are basically weeds so it's not like somebody's planting them here they just grow on their own all over the place and you'll see them you can spot all the yellow flowers from a far away you know so they're really easy to find but look at this over here there's a lot all this right here these have made an appearance in my videos a couple times wild onion uh, all the white flowers you see from down there these are really good too they taste exactly like chives um, very tasty and you can easily tell that it's wild onion. One, because of the smell. It smells exactly like onion or chives, you know, when you cut chives. Um, and you can see the white flowers kind of dangling. And also, they have sort of a triangular stem. And that's another way you can tell that this is wild onion. Cool, huh? So many things in the city. All right, this whole area right here there's a, a ton of them this is all mugwort this is huge big plants and i don't usually find mugwort that often and here is so many and you got the city in the background perfectly uh wow mugwort is actually really good mugwort is used in japan and they uh, smash it up when they're making mochi so it turns the mochi green and you have this kind of green mugwort mochi and that's very delicious as well. Uh, this is very cool, very cool plant and a lot of it here. Wow, it's literally all the way over there, like 30 feet over there and it extends over here. Big plant, awesome. I didn't know I was gonna find this today. That's pretty cool. There's some more back there too. All right, let's move on to another spot, shall we? this two things okay cool this is the common mallow and it's a very common plant like very common weed 
that you can find literally almost anywhere. Almost any, I know anywhere in California. You can go down to SoCal, you can go down to Mexico and you can find these still. And this is an edible plant. Um, I wouldn't specifically eat this one in particular. It's all old and probably about a thousand dogs or so have peed on this plant specifically. Uh, so I, I wouldn't eat this one, but this is an edible plant. And it has a very kind of a slimy texture. I've only tried it raw and it wasn't so good. But I think if it's sauteed, I think it would be much better. It would probably taste something close to okra because of that sliminess. All right, and then we have another plant right there. This is a pretty big one. This is dock right here, dock weed. And this is, uh, I think it's something like kale, close to kale, uh, at least the texture and flavor. We may cook something by the end of this, or we may not. I don't know, I haven't exactly decided yet. Everybody knows what this is. Dandelion. And dandelion are edible, if you didn't know that. The flowers and the leaves as well. And it's a very, very, very common weed that you know, you probably see it. You probably have it in your front yard or sidewalk or something. They come out of the cracks or the sidewalks and they're actually edible. Very common in our area, you can find wild blackberries. And this is it right here. Um, but they don't fruit until the summertime. So if you guys like this video, and if you want me to do a part two uh, in the summertime, doing looking for wild berries, uh, wild radish seed pods, wild plums, things like that in the summer, comment down below and let me know if you want to see a part two, all right? Anyways, let's see if we can find anything else here right next to our uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Another find. Hey, this is what I just mentioned just a second ago. Wild radish. I don't think it's particularly in season. In the summertime, I see these more kind of flourish and in, uh, in, in abundance. Well, you can tell the wild radish with the flowers. It has like this kind of a cross-like flower four petals and it can be purple or white or maybe even pink um, but there's a, these are seed pods and this is delicious and so we have these microclimates in san francisco things can grow even out of season um, and this one it looks like the seeds are really hard right now um, when the young when the seeds are young i think maybe this one they're really good to eat Oh uh, yeah, this one looks pretty good actually. Yeah, well, these are delicious. But in the summertime, we'll find these all over the place too. Well, we found a tunnel. Oh, and look at this. I also found right there. Most of these plants that we're finding today are all weeds, all right? They're mainly weeds. Nobody's planting them here. They just grow on their own and they are in abundance and they'll just keep growing and growing and taking over or taking over the whole place. Well, so this one in particular is called nasturtium. And I see this a lot nowadays used in fine dining restaurants. They will, uh, they'll, they'll use the little tiny ones and use it as garnish, right? And it has a very, very unique taste as well. It's quite strong. It's good for things like pesto. And you can see all over here and if, and maybe another month or so they'll start uh, blossoming their flowers and they have these bright orange flowers there we go here's one another very common weed that we have you can see most of it is dead but this right here this is fennel very strong like black licorice scent oh yeah Oof. do you like black licorice i don't think so the smell is unmistakable and usually when you eat fennel it's like the tops or you have the bulbs right but these wild fennel uh, the bulbs aren't so big they're pretty small so i don't think it's really worth the effort um but these are also everywhere fennel is everywhere so i think that's it for today I don't think I'm going to eat these today, but if you want me to in the next one, comment down below 
and I'll eat some street plants for you guys. I think I'll just have to wash it thoroughly uh, if I want to really eat it. Because uh, a lot of this probably has a lot of, you know, dog pee. Also, human pee too, probably. Some of it at least. So, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.